600 kilograms heavier than the Jules Verne, which had itself established a record, this second ATV is the heaviest spacecraft that Europe has ever launched. This is largely due to a performance increase of Ariane 5 with its new welded boosters already used several times on Ariane space commercial flights. But the overall ATV capacity has been increased. The eight internal racks of its cargo carrier section have been redesigned and optimized in weight and volume. Depending on ISS requirements and on solar activity, the average ATV loading turns around six tons. But the Johannes Kepler will do much better. The current manifest is that we are uploading 7.1 ton. Um, it will be fully loaded almost up to the last gram. On this manifest, 1,600 kilograms of dry cargo. It includes 435 kilos of food. 70 of astronauts' belongings, ESA's geoflow experiment to study convective flow patterns of liquids, and spare parts for ESA's Columbus Laboratory and for NASA's ISS modules. Also loaded three video cameras to be used for ESA physiology experiments and several liquid waste boxes to store non-reusable parts of the station's water system. And for public relations, a few stickers. Most of the dry cargo was loaded last September. However, this second ATV mission will make use for the first time of its late accessibility. 28 different bags, some 430 kilograms to be added at the last moment. Since we have closed the back entrance of the ATV, the late cargo loading takes place in the final assembly hall. We will open the Russian docking system interface and the, the person will descend into the ATV through the hatch and then we'll stow these bags in, this, in their designated locations. The bulk of the cargo, however, is propellant. Except for the water tanks remaining empty on this mission, the other reservoirs are brim full. Four and a half tons of propellants to reboost the ISS, 850 kilograms of fuels to transfer into the Russian FGB module, and 100 kilos of gases, air, oxygen and nitrogen. Everyone remembers the pictures of the streaking debris when the Jules Verne disintegrated as it plunged towards the Pacific Ocean. The perfectly controlled re-entry had been monitored and filmed by two aircraft. No aerial surveillance this time, but on its descent the Johannes Kepler will have an unusual passenger. A 4 kilogram, 30 centimeter diameter conical Pico satellite will record and send back to Earth details of the breakup recording the ultimate moments of the second ATV mission.